Greetings Earthling! So we're back at Washwood Heath, Bromford Tunnel and um, yeah we've come back because the TBM, Mary Ann, the first tunnel boring machine has just broke through concrete somewhere down there. Um, so I'm back at my usual spot right by the main road. Uh, so it's a bit loud um, but yeah I'm going to take the drone off from here now. We're going to go and have a closer look. But yeah other than not only uh, has the TBM broke through but it also looks like a lot of other progress has been made since we last visit even this compound over here looks a lot different there looks to be a lot more uh, features in there now and uh, there seems to be a wall going along the back there as well which wasn't there last time and there's two warehouses over there last time we looked one of them was uh, at the, about the same stage as the one next to it is now so i'm curious to know what they're for um, so yeah, let's get the drone up and have a look. There we go guys. Boom. Let's get her up. Wow, so guys, the tunnel boring machine broke through. Um, just earlier on this week, last weekend I think it was, and it would have broke through somewhere down there, I'm guessing. But we'll just start from along here and work our way along. So this compound here is, is, uh, has made a lot of progress since the last time we were here as well. So like that grey tent thing wasn't here last time. There's a lot more vehicles, there's a lot more, uh, it's a lot busier than it was last time. Just got to be mindful of this crane here. It's not doing much at the moment. But um, yeah, let's just have a little look. A few gusts of winds today, guys. So got to be mindful of the wind. Let's just work our way back along now. Yeah, what a what a, an amazing piece of engineering this is, guys! Eh, absolutely wild. So yeah, the TBM Marianne would have broken uh, broke concrete, should I say? <laughs> Needs to be careful if I worked it. Would have broke concrete somewhere along here, right towards the end. I'm thinking. Let's go and have a look. So we're well above the cranes and everything. So I think there's like another part to it, or would it have been back down here, guys? Let's have a look down here. I think it would have been back down here, wouldn't it? That's yeah, it would have been back down here, I should imagine. Do you see if we can get a glimpse of it? Get as low as we possibly can so we're not in the way of the cranes. And we'll see if we can get a glimpse of it down here, guys. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can get a glimpse of where it broke out. But then I doubt we will because um, on the video I watched, um, it's like you have to be stood down there to see it type thing. I, you, I, I, I doubt we'll see it from it up here. Do you know what I mean, guys? Hold on, there's some crane wires there. Oh, well above that. Yeah, I think it's under there where it broke out. It is. Yeah, it is. That's where it broke out under there, I think, guys. That's where it broke out under there. Shall we see if we can... 
Get a little bit lower. Nah, I'm not going to see it unless I actually go inside the tunnel, which I'm not going to do. Nah, it's somewhere under there, it must be. Yeah, I won't actually see the hole, but I'm thinking the, the hole that it's bored is somewhere, is there. It's, it's like there, isn't it? It's in there, I think. Let's just see if we can go out and have a look over this way. I really want to get a glimpse of this uh, hole they've bored. That would be the golden ticket, wouldn't it, guys? Yeah, the wind's getting quite a lot now. Yeah, it's under there. <laughs> it's under there somewhere. I know it is. It looks like the exact spot I've seen on the video. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's definitely under there somewhere. Yeah, it is. Look. Yeah, there it is. Haha! <laughs> Boom! That's where it come out from, guys. Ooh! Look at that! You can see the tunnel boring machine. One sec. Oi! Check this out. Boom! You can actually see the tunnel boring machine, guys. Let me just come over here a little bit. Oi! Don't worry, I'm nowhere near the crane. Oi, that's it in there. One sec. Sorry, guys. That's it there, look, guys. Boom, that's the tunnel boring machine right there. Wow. No way. Hold on. Look at that for a photo. Wow, guys. We have got the golden ticket here. One sec, guys. Boom. I can't believe that. Look at that. We're actually looking at the tunnel pouring machine. Oh my gosh, guys. You know Vitamin Steve gets you the best HS2 videos on YouTube, man. Come on. Yeah, that's amazing, guys. Wow. So let's just... Go and have a little look. Just got to be mindful of those wires there. Oosh. So the next one will be coming out soon as well. The next um, TBM will be coming out soon as well. Just have a little look. Yeah, I think most of the wind I'm experiencing on this road is from the traffic going past, whizzing past me. Because <laughs> I haven't had any warning signals on my uh, drone so far. Wow. Yeah, I can't believe we actually got footage of the, the TBM actually popping out of the flipping wall guys out of the concrete that's amazing i'm gonna have to go back and have another look at that i 
first we'll just have a look over here so this is where the track will slope up oh, i think they're just going to be um put uh sorry excavating more ground there actually i'm not 100 percent sure I doubt there'll be a sharp hill for a flipping high street high speed train will there do you know what i mean guys and also hold on let me just let me bring her up a bit this wall here going along here See that wall going along there, guys? Yeah, I can feel the drone slightly going uh, off course a bit here because of this wind. Hold on. Oosh, oh my Lord, guys. Thank God for such brilliant footage today, yeah? See this wall here going along there, guys. That wasn't there before when we visited before. So that's obviously part of the Brumford Tunnel. There'll be a, a, a big wall going all the way along. Look, that looks like that. Well, it is that. That is the wall. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I've not long woke up. <laughs> that is the wall, Steve. So yeah, that wall will run all the way along, I should imagine. It will look like a right fortress when it's done. Let me tell you that. It already does. It already does look absolutely incredible. Um, so yeah, this is the bit that I was just thinking about there. Let's just admire Birmingham City Centre skyline there in the background. There's a couple of people asking for a Birmingham City Centre skyline video. Uh, a daytime one, obviously I've already done a nighttime one. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's all you're getting for now. <laughs> I'll get a bit closer when I've got time, definitely. I definitely want to do that video soon. Um, but yeah, this bit here confuses me because obviously it's sloping up. It's a hill that's sloping up, isn't it, guys? So I'm just thinking, have they still got more ground to excavate? Or is it going to like slow down to, 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 to hit a, a, a slight slope going up? I'm not, not sure how that will work. I mean, that's what I mean. Will the trains like slow down so it will uh, sort of go up a slight slope and then pick up speed again into Curzon Street? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, wow, what an impressive project this is, guys. How blessed are we to see this here? So yeah, I just wanna go over and have a look at these two warehouses over here, because they've been confusing the hell out of me. Someone in the comments says they're nothing to do with HS2. But I mean, surely, I mean, they're right basically on the hs2 site surely they've got something to do with hs2 so this one here that we're looking at there that was um about the set about at, at about the same stage as that one next to it just a steel frame last time we visited but that's more or less been completed now that one and now they've got another one going up next to it and it must be something to do with hs2 guys surely i mean they're not going to they're not going to sell that land to anyone else. They'd, they'd use that for themselves, surely. I'm not sure what's going on there. So, yeah, guys, if anyone know what these two uh, industrial sheds are, these industrial units are, please do drop it in the comments and let us know. Um, now, this area here, this patch of land here that we're looking at, centre of screen, this is where the actual Washwood Heath um, depot and offices is going to be built. So it's going to be amazing to see them start building that soon as well, which won't be for another two or three years, I don't think. But this is where this this patch of land here is where they're uh, building the actual depot on here. But now I want to go and get another look at that TBM breaking concrete down there. Man, I can't believe we actually got footage of the TBM actually busting through the concrete. Guys, nobody gets you HS2 footage like Vitamin Steve. I'm just so delighted to be able to show that um, 
TBM actually literally there, right in front of us. That's broke concrete. And it was so lovely to see all the HS2 workers like clapping and smiling and full of euphoria standing there watching it break through, man. I mean, that was just, that was just so nice, man. And it just shows what these projects mean to so many people. So many people that work on them. So many people like myself who, um, who, who come to vlog them and stuff, you know? We all grow an attachment to these, uh, to these types of projects, especially HS2. And HS2, it gets a lot of criticism. Um, I mean, I get it in my comments sometimes, people saying, oh, we don't need it. It's a waste of money and all this from, you know, from the killjoy types. But I tell you, once, once, you, once you grow a, grow an affiliation with the project, it means a hell of a lot. It means, uh, it, it means a lot to a lot of people, trust me. And we do need it, and it isn't a waste of money. In fact, we need to do the northern leg as well, if you ask me. So yeah, guys, there we have it. There's the TBM, literally right in front of us, Mary Ann. Oosh. And guys, as I say, Vitamin C will get you the best footage of HS2. For now, I'm gonna bring it back towards me. Absolutely smashed it today, Phoenix Drone. You've absolutely smashed it again. Oosh, so there we have it, guys. That's been HS2 Washwood Heath, the Bromford Tunnel. We've even seen the um, TBM Mary Ann breaking through the concrete. And guys, what an absolute legendary piece of engineering mega project HS2 is and will be for many years to come. I'm blessed to be able to bring you these videos, guys. As always, guys, thanks for joining me. Catch me in the next one. But for now, from me and Marianne, the TBM, peace.